Hi, I'm Katie Gates, author of The Good Poet, and today I want to talk about faith and what it means to me. If you have gotten my book, you know that faith is one of the subjects subjects mentioned in the book. And so today I just want to share why I, I wrote about faith in the book and what it means to me. Faith as we know, or, or some of us may not know, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So in other words, Faith means to place our complete confidence in trust, our complete confidence in trust in something or someone. For me, that someone is God, the creator of all things. I place my complete trust in him. So having faith is placing my complete trust in God himself. When I think about faith from a biblical stance, I'm reminded that it requires me to keep my confidence in God during both the good times and the bad times. Now think about that. Not just when things are good, but when things are what we as humans call bad. Um, That is difficult for a lot of people to do, but when you operate in faith and with faith, that is a requirement. So um, faith requires me to keep my confidence in God during both good times and bad times. It means to have a mentality, a mentality that God is still in control even when life seems out of control. That's faith. That's faith, y'all. That is what it means. And um, it's, it's, it's just, it's amazing because you have to rely on the source even when things appear out of control. But what I've learned about faith is this. Faith will always come with challenges. When you're operating in faith, at least for me, challenges always arise. And it's like, I, I am I being tested here? Those are some of the side conversations that I have with the father. You know, father, am I being tested here? I've noticed that with faith, when you're operating in true faith, um, you're going to go through trials, tribulations, and torment. And eventually, going to walk through the fire. If you stand fast, on God's word and his faith, eventually you will walk through what, um, uh, I don't don't know if you've heard the term before, but you will walk through the fire. And for me, the fire is the fortification of life. It's those things that God takes us through to strengthen us, to fortify us, to build us, to say, hey, I'm here. Don't lean on your own understanding, lean on me. And so that's what I've learned about um, about faith. And in essence, when I look at faith, it's one full circle moment, a full circle moment destined with a purpose of strengthening us during this lifetime. So it's that full circle and it has a purpose to strengthen us while we're here on the earth. Now, when I think about faith, I also think about my mother, Barbara. My mother, Barbara, excuse me, I just shook my camera. <laughs> my mother, Barbara, my greatest friend ever, passed away in July. And I think about her when I say full circle moment because mom was a strong believer in God. Um, like myself, she believed that having faith would heal her body. Sadly, that did not happen. Um, she she died of cancer. Um, and as we know this month, I'm, I'm recording this in October. And as we know, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. My brother, di- my mother, excuse me, died from breast cancer. Um, and so she was a strong believer um, in faith. And she believed that God would heal her body. Like I said, sadly, that did not happen. Um, but a non-believer. See, this is where faith comes in at. And this is why having faith is so, so, so vitally important because a non-believer would ask, well, how can you believe in a God that says you have the power to call forth life and when you needed the power the most, 
he went MIA. <laughs> a non-believer or, or an atheist may ask that question. Where was your God then? You called on him to heal your mother. He, he answers other times, I'm sure. I would say yes, but he went MIA on you at the time you needed him the most. So where was your God then? So my answer to that non-believer or to that atheist would be faith. How can you believe in that God? I would answer because I have faith. See, faith is believing in the unseen. Knowing that it's there, hoping, knowing that it's there, it's, 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 it's hoping for the thing. So I have to know that although some people would say God went MIA, I have to know because my faith tells me that as long as I believe in the Father, I have to believe in what his word says. And his word says that my mother, while she is not here in the natural, while she's not here in the natural, she's living in the spirit. I have to believe that. And although life did not come forth when I called it, I had to remain steadfast in God's word. Because his word assures me that everlasting life belongs to my mother. And so that gave me peace that surpasses all understanding. Now, if I was wavering in my faith, going going back and forth, believing one moment, being 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 an unbeliever the next moment, that's not peace. I would never have found the peace that God has given to me if I was wavering in my faith and my thought process. That's what faith means to me. Um, you know, in faith, I think faith, whenever we, whenever we just dissect the word faith, you know, it looks different for everyone. But it, it, in essence, it's the exact same thing because we're still all coming back to faith. So faith could mean for others as well as myself, serving God or keeping the faith during those times that our money looks funny or when our minds are playing tricks on us. Now keep in mind, this is how faith could look to you. Your mind may be playing tricks on you, but yet you're keeping the faith and your heart may be hurting, but you're keeping faith. Um, loved ones may have left earlier than planned, but you're keeping faith. Faith may look like that to you. And we have to know that faith resides here. As long as we have faith, we have to know that faith resides here and in us because God himself is faith. Right? Those are just some of the ways um, I see faith and what faith means to me. Now, when I dig a little deeper and look at faith from a general stance, faith for some for some, because we're going to continue from, from where we left off, faith for some could mean, um, although you didn't get the job that you know you deserved, you know you deserve the job, you're going to believe that God is still king. It's working hard for the house that you've been in for years and then having it foreclosed and still believing. It's the mind again, still believing without an ounce of doubt in the God that you serve. That's what faith could mean to you. It's believing in God without waver when your child is taken from the earth before you. That's what faith could look like to you. It's, I may be physically sick in my body, but God is my healer. Faith could look like that or sound like that to you. It could be my children are acting out of character, but I know that God is with them. That could be your story. It could be I'm exhausted on all sides, but faith is my strength. These could all be 
your story and yet you still keep faith. That's because we go back here. That's because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. God's word tells us to keep the faith. See, for my mother, and this is for anyone who has lost a child, a loved one, a parent, you know, mother, father, sister, brother. God gave me peace that surpassed all understanding, that, that faith that I had within me. When he came to me, I'm petitioning to God to heal my mother. I mean, crying, petitioning, out of breath, heart palpitating, on and on and on and on, sweating. I'm petitioning God so hard. And God came to me and said, she's not yours. She does not belong to you. As clear as I'm talking to you, that's the message that I heard. And no, my mind was not playing tricks on me. That was a real relevant word from God. And I can tell you this, ever since he came to me, and said that, I've had peace that surpasses all understanding. That's what faith gives. That's what operating in true faith gives. So those are just some of the things um, that I love about faith and just what faith means to me and why I put it in my book, The Good Poet. Um, I love faith. I try to operate in faith all the times. Now it is difficult i can say that especially with the world we live in today and we we can we can visually see the chaos that's going on in the world and so faith for some even for myself can be a challenge but i'm reminded that although it looks like it's chaotic god is still king and so that gives me peace and i just hope and pray that it gives you peace as well. Thank you so much for joining me. And like I said, I'm Katie Gates, author of The Good Poet. Um, and this is what faith means to me. So thank you all. I love you all. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Bye.